What is up guys? This is Brandon Ash from Rivers Edge Outfitters in Cherokee. Just out here on one of my favorite little creeks. It's local to me. Kind of trying to unwind after a real busy week of guiding. Fishing has been great. Been real busy. And so I just wanted to show you real quick how I tie what we call this tag system. And you can use this if you're doing two nymphs or if you want to do a dry dropper. Um, so what I've got here, this is my leader. This end, I know you can't see it, but this end's going up to my fly line. There's my fly line. And so here's the end of my leader. And so I'm gonna get a piece of tippet here. This just happens to be six and a half X. You can use whatever you want. And so the length of your tippet, you wanna be about you want to be about one and a half times the depth of the water. So for here, this little creek, you know, I've got just like two feet. That's all I need. And so here's my leader. And here's, here's the tippet I want to add in. Basically, you just lay them on top of each other like that. And now we're going to tie to our tag that we left so you can kind of judge how long you want to leave that and I like to leave it you know about like that is plenty you know give yourself enough room to tie that fly on but you don't want it to be so long that it's wrapping up on your on your leader there and causing problems so what I'll do is I wet it and that just makes it stick together makes it a little easier so you push it together create a loop and pinch it in your thumb there all right, and now here's the end of my tippet and that tag. You just want to pull that through that loop, just like that. And basically, you just do that three times. Some people do it twice. I like to do it three times. Now then, you grab both ends. You grab the tag and your main line here. Tag, main line here pull it till you get about right there and you want to wet it and that's really important especially on fluorocarbon because when you cinch that knot down if you don't have something on there to lubricate it it will actually burn and create a weak spot in your line and you're going to be breaking fish off and nobody wants to break fish off so let me show you what I've got here so this is what it should look like when you get that knot done, you should have two tags. This top tag, the one that's going up to your fly line, that's the one I clip off. You don't want to tie to that top tag. That will fail on you. So that's what I've got now. I don't know if you can see that or not. I've got the tippet that I added on, and then I've got this tag that I left long. That's what I'm going to tie in this instance. I'm gonna tie a dry fly on because I'm doing a dry dropper. So I'm gonna tie my dry fly on here on that tag and this will be your dropper. And I just do a regular old clinch knot to tie my flies. So there's that dry fly on a tag. Then we go to the end of our tippet. That's where we're gonna tie, in this case, a nymph. So that's gonna be our point fly. I'm gonna put on this little surveyor here. All right, so. Now we have got your basic dry dropper rig. So off that tag on the top is a dry fly. And then a couple feet down below that I've got my point, which is the, it's a nymph, which will sink. And so basically you fish this dry fly like an indicator. So you're gonna watch that. And if that thing goes under the water, you set the hook because it's probably a fish that's eating your nymph. And at the same time, they, at the same time they may come underneath this dry fly. So you're effectively covering two columns of water, top and bottom. And it only makes sense. You got two flies in the water, you're doubling your chances there. So give it a shot. I guarantee you it will put more fish in your net as opposed to just fishing a single dry. Don't be intimidated by it. All the staff at River's Edge are super friendly. Um, and I think I can speak for everybody and say that fishing is a passion but even more so teaching fishing 
is what we really love. So can't wait to see you. 61 Big Cove, come by and see us. And I hope everybody had a happy Easter.